Now, I don't profess to be the biggest sporting fan. However, each year I can't help but catch a dose of Wimbledon fever. Murray, Federer, Nadal, yes please. <laughs> Though I must admit, that's as much for their shorts as their serve. However, <laughs> when it comes to women's tennis, I can't even begin to describe how much the Williams sisters inspire me. So I never thought there'd come a day when I'd be cheering teenage newcomer Coco Goff for beating Venus in straight sets. Overnight, we had a new tennis sensation. The press couldn't get enough of this young challenger, who was inspired to play by the very woman she beat. But once my euphoria began to wear off, I started to question if this was right or even moral. As a society, we understand the value of maturity and the wisdom it brings in most areas of life. Is it really fair for a 15-year-old to be playing in an adult tournament? So while we celebrate this new tennis sensation, let's also take a moment to reflect on the kind of pressure we are mounting on her very young shoulders. Joan, um, I mean, in certain sports, this mm -hmm. has always been the case. I mean, I once remember a long time ago making a program about gymnastics, mm. where kids were literally oh, taken orbit. from an yeah. incredibly young age. And actually, when you you know, talk to them, some of them had, had, were really damaged by it. Yeah. Whether well, 15, and a fairly mature 15, is too young, I don't know. Let's look at what she actually says. OK. Even um, if I, the restrictions weren't there, um, I still think I wouldn't play, like, um, as much as uh, players do when uh, the older players do, um, just because I'm still trying to develop my game and I'm still trying to train. I mean, what could be an issue is that is that Wimbledon has turned her into a superstar. Mm, this and yet is she my concern. And yet she hasn't yet got either the age, but might not have the talent. And it will be interesting to see, you know, will we look back in five years' time and say, what happened to her? And, and that's my point, because I think with a lot of other sports, there is an age limit. You know, we know that with football, you're, you're doing your under-16s, athletics, it's 17, I think. And, 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 and even golf has an age restriction. And I wonder, I just think, it's a lot. When you look at the kind of attention that was put on her overnight, is someone that young able to handle it? Can I just bring in a video, then I'll bring okay, you in, Carol. Okay. Let's see at her dad's bar when she won what happened. I mean, it's wonderful, but that's a lot. Imagine when she returns Hello. to school. Well, Carol? It's, interesting. it's interesting, John McEnroe, I heard him being interviewed this week, and he said he thought it was really good that she went out when she did. And his words were, enough already. What he meant was of the pressure of the celebrity. Yep. Um, and and uh, let's just, let's just re quote from him. He said, I remember my first Wimbledon, I was 18. I got to the semis. It felt so overwhelming. It felt like it was almost better that I didn't win, that I'd have time to sort, yes. sort out, figure it out, understand what it would be like to be a pro on tour and give myself, as it turned out, a year before I turned pro. Corrie Gorf has to be handled very carefully. That's the key thing. She's going to be an unbelievable champion, but we don't want to overwhelm her too soon. I agree. And, and I saw in that very last match she played the joy of the previous games, the exuberance. It wasn't there. She wasn't handling the setbacks very well, and that, that was her age. But that said, I, I, I don't think there should be an agent because I think sport is all about competition. It's all about handling pressure. It's all about winning and how to handle losing. And I think she would have learned very valuable lessons last week. And she can only play another five, five more tournaments mm. in the next year. Yeah. So it is going to be handled for her. Nick? I want to bring in the line challenge or Hawkeye on what okay. you've just said or whatever it's called because <laughs> you said we are we are mounting the pressure on her very young shoulder. You don't no, think that bar's no, mounting pressure? No, we're not. Society she is or her is. coach or her mum or her dad. We're, if you turn up at Wimbledon or the French Open or Flushing Meadow, New York, where that that's their decision. We're not forcing. Wimbledon isn't saying you have to play. And there are rules just so that we get some things out. This is. The restrictions that are in place, players aged 13 and younger cannot play professional tournaments, players aged 14 to 17 are allowed to play a limited number of events, which increases each year, male players can play in any number of professional tournaments from the age of 16, female players can play in any number of professional tournaments from the age of 18, and we thank the Association for Tennis Professionals and Women's Tennis Association players for those restrictions. You can, when I, after I say... If, she's obviously a phenomenal talent at this age. Mm. What are you going to do, not let her play for another couple of years? No, no, what I'm saying is I wonder if... 
talent at that age should be playing each other. That's what I'm saying. I don't think well, they, no should be, they shouldn't be playing candle. adults. And all I would add to that is part of the reason she got all the attention she got is because she's 15. Yeah. If she we was love... 19 and she beat Ser Venus in straight sets, I don't think we'd be as excited over we'd, her. We'd love... And I just think it's a lot. We love precocious talent. We love the fact that in Michelle. some instances, England footballers are 18 or 19. It's fantastic. Playing against blows at 27. Michelle? Well, firstly, I can't let it go um, unremarked that us girls get away with murder because if you two chaps had done an intro like that where you said, oh, I like tennis, but I I'll know. admit, I'll admit it's more for the girls' oh, skirts, you would have been in trouble. I so know. we girls... Whoo. Yeah, well said. Anyway, Lucky I can say. Say, right? <laughs> Moving on from that, um, I find it interesting the rules that you've just mentioned and the restrictions on how many tournaments they can play when they're young. I'm in two minds about that because it's. I understand that you're trying to restrict to avoid burnout, but to me that would stack more pressure on the limited number of tournaments they um, can do. And I was how interested. So? Because if, you're, if you know you're only allowed to do, I don't know, let's just say four tournaments, okay. let's just say, and you only got four, let's just imagine you on your fourth one, yeah. you know that is it. You've got to win you it. Yeah, yeah, whereas if actually you're just doing what you want, you can do either. That fourth tournament, it's not so much pressure for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm in two minds about them. Um, and I think it's really interesting when we talk about the pressure on young people. Um, Ellie Sutter, the, the snowboarder, she very tragically... Um, took her own life on her 18th birthday. Wow. And her father has spoken out a lot about the pressure that's put on to sure. young mm. athletes. And in Who my mind... mature enough to handle it. Yeah, and in my mind, but, I've got a question. Do we need children to be competing professionally? I you agree. Know, but you listen I to, agree. But listen, you heard her talk there. This girl has got her head on her shoulders. Laura Robson, remember Laura Robson, who was the, the big noise in women about three years ago? She said, I totally understand why the rule is there for the amount of games to play. And there have been bad examples in the past of kids burning out too young, and I don't think that's going to happen to Coco because she's got great parents. I think it's crazy that she's only going to be able to play five more tournaments professionally until her birthday next year. She's but, saying, no, let her finish. She's saying you can't grow as a player and get the experience you need if you don't, if you don't play. Can I say, we wouldn't have a child prodigy working in Goldman Sachs. Like, we wouldn't have a math 15-year-old math it's genius so. working at so. Google. No, so June, why are we all right June, with this? honestly saying you know better than her mum or dad? I'm not, I'm just you are, saying... Respectfully, uh, June, you are. No, let let the parents parent the child. If they think she's up for it... Well, I mean, one, this that. is one of the things that concerned me when I was involved in football. Mm. I mean, that you're literally now... Professional Premier League clubs are taking kids at the age of six. Yeah. yeah. And they're being... And for ten years, they are being told... You are wonderful. You're going to be... A, there are cars picking them up, taking them there, doing this... It's and not that. real. And suddenly, most of them, at They're 16, 17, 18, are kicked out. Yeah. And you wonder what happens to them and the damage that does. And a lot of these kids, like this girl, won't make it. Let's just... If we look at what her father, Corey Goff, has said, I went through everybody I thought was relevant that won Grand Slams and were good young. I went through every one of their situations and looked at where they were at a certain age, what they were doing. I asked a lot of questions because I was concerned about burnout. Am I doing the right things? Well. Which, again, speaks to the parenting mm. due, mm. and that's the thing. Well, I like, didn't Boris Becker... Wasn't he 15 when he came no, on to he this? Was, he won Wimbledon as... Un, I think he was 17. He Incredible. was unseeded and won Wimbledon. Yeah. But, of course, he went on to be bonking Boris and all sorts of other Which things. Which Boris would that be? <laughs> <laughs>